So, yeah. All right, Bobby. Uh, it's not a whole lot to talk about. So for your big news, you want to drop it on us? Yeah. Can play too. Would everyone be pissed if I decided not to talk about it tonight? <laughs> no, I was just like, you know, the heat that you were, you, I don't know if you were surviving the heat from that one. They were like, look, Bobby told us he was going to drop some big news, and he didn't. He refused to. <laughs> um, no, I'm actually very excited to talk about it because it's, uh, it's kind of one of those things where you guys know I, I like tell everyone everything. So the fact that, like, I couldn't say, any, say anything about it yet, uh, it's like money just burned a hole in my pocket, and I couldn't wait to – to spend it so now it's uh it's all done and we are moving forward and i'm excited to talk about this aspect of uh valiverse and action force and the you know what the future holds for the line so i'll give you guys a little bit of backstory about uh what i'm about to sort of announce so about Three months ago, uh, a very successful producer reached out to me and wanted. Oh, no. no I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay. um, uh, <laughs> a very successful producer reached out to me and wanted to option the movie rights for Action Force. And I was like, holy shit, like, like for real? Like, it's not like a joke? like real and he was serious he he loved what i had put together and the characters i created in the storyline and he said this is this is a movie all day um so i said okay well this is exciting you know and, and i didn't know like how to handle it i'm like holy shit like this is all new to me so i you know i said okay let's you know let's let's do it we we had a bunch of calls so we we, we talked a lot and uh you know for several hours and I liked what, what he was saying. And, and, you know, I was kind of voicing, you know, what, what I was looking for out of the, out of the property, because this is, you know, this is kind of like my baby and I want it to be done the right way. And I said, okay, um, let's, let's do it. You know, send me, uh, you know, the contract and this and that, and, and, you know, let's, let's do it. So I didn't know how that all worked. So I, you know, I got the contract and I contacted a, like a movie option attorney to you know help me out reviewing the contract because yeah you know, I didn't I didn't know it's all legal jargon and that sort of thing but when we were reviewing it you know I, we were looking at it and at the end of the day um, it was a standard uh, contract for options for movies what they you know what they do in Hollywood for for all these properties and what I didn't like was that it kind of gave the power to any scriptwriter or director or producer to change the story as they see fit. And when it came down to it, I didn't want something ridiculous happening like in G.I. Joe. I didn't want Karak to be Condor's brother-in-law who's dating Pandora. It's just I didn't want that to happen. So You, you, you didn't want Action Force directed by Ryan Johnson. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I declined it. I said, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to do this. And, you know, it was, it was hard to say no to that. Cause I said, holy crap, you know, this is like, you know, a, a, a huge opportunity and, you know, the company's just starting out and I, I really wanted to expand, but I just, you know, I care too much about the property and I just didn't want uh, any, anyone to kind of tread all over what I had built. So I said, no. And then he, you know, he reached out to me again and said, well, look, you know, I, I understand how you feel and you, you should absolutely have the controlling rights of your, of your property. He's like, but I firmly believe that this property is, you know, movie material, it's animation uh, material. And he wanted to be a part of it because he loved this, this IP so much and what, what I put together. So the more we talked about it, we, we came to the conclusion that let's start our own company, our own production company, which is the company that I showed the logo for, Steel Brigade Productions. So Steel Brigade Productions is myself and this producer and the company. Logo is looks sweet. 
and we are are doing it together so that uh, I control all the you know the rights to the story and how it's going to be presented, and he has all of his connections with screenwriters and producers and studios and directors so we can join forces and make sure that it's done the right way and i really appreciated the fact that he was willing to do this with me because he believed in the, the property and he wanted to see it get made and cared about the vision staying what i wanted it to be so we had formed we formed this this company this is an official company steel brigade productions and we are in the process of getting a script writer started on it ASAP. However, he just called me yesterday and laid down some big news uh, for me that literally blew my mind. He, this weekend, is meeting with a very, very huge, prominent uh, MCU director, and he's going to be talking about the Action Force property. So hopefully something will come of it. We don't know if it is. The, the meeting isn't solely about that, but he is going to be talking to them about the Steel Brigade property because I think it would be perfect for this director. But uh, if, that, if that doesn't... Uh -oh. you know, if, if it doesn't go through, it's okay because we are still... you know We have uh, script writers lined up. The script writers that he has on his list are ones whose movies I'm a big, big fan of. So we're excited about that. So uh, Steel Brigade Productions is going to get started on the movie aspect, but we are also looking into the animation aspect as well. And we are also looking into possible uh, publication for the comic books. So it's a, it's a big step and also like a testament to this this brand and and what i've built so far because the fact that you know big hollywood producers are coming to me and saying hey i think this could be a movie and that's always what i had you know in store for it i always wanted it to expand and in, in, into other media i just didn't realize it was going to happen like this fast and then this soon so it's really exciting uh it's, it's super super awesome i can't wait to see how this you know this meeting goes this weekend so I'm really looking forward to that, and uh, you know the whole the whole process moving forward. So, um, you know, uh, it's still in the very early stages, but you know, from what what I've said and shown so far, you guys can bet that there's going to be some more uh, media coming uh, for Action Force. So, you know, if if there could be a mo a movie in two years, that would be amazing. Uh, animation in a year, that would be amazing as well. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed, more stuff is coming, but. You can see that the the line and, and the brand is is building and it's building fast and it's going in the right direction and I couldn't be happier. Bobby, you son of a bitch. You did it. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Thanks. That Thanks. Yeah, that's definitely. awesome, man. Just Let me know when you need a storyboard ask. artist. Right. <laughs> There's two things I have to ask you. One. Are we all invited to the movie premiere? Because I, I, look, I don't want to get on that red carpet and be asked questions like, "You know, Bobby Bell? Yeah, let me tell you about this guy. He's a great guy. Let me tell you. Uh, 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 yeah, he's part of the Infinity Equation. Remember, check out Infinity Equation YouTube. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey where you find gas? Ah. Hey, I don't know what a, I don't know what a key grip does, but I know he would be a really good key grip or a, nah. maybe average one, probably. <laughs> That brings me to my second question. Uh, if I can get a voiceover part somewhere, you know, because I can do a good co Miles Cosby or Miles Hustle for you, or like any other voice that you need to be, I can be there for the uh, for the show, you know, for the, the anime series side. My acting skills are not that great. I can be like one of those dead bodies just laying there, like all like you see you see my dead body in uh, Law and Order. That's for you, right? That's me. That was me right there. <laughs> Oh man! I, oh. I did tell my partner. I said I I have to be an extra in a Steel Brigade uniform somewhere. So oh, yeah. helmet on me. I, I don't even have to be credited. I just want to say like I was that guy behind those other thirty other Steel Brigade troopers. Mm -hmm. You know, running down that that corridor there. You'll be, hey, and dad, you'll be dad bods are hot right now. We got Dad Bob Boba Fett. We could have Dad Bod Steel Brigade. No, mm -mm. I'm sorry, Ryan. I know Dad Bod's hot, but I'm working out. If if I could be an extra in the movie, you guarantee me 
I'm being yeah. on the rock Dwayne Johnson's uh, <laughs> regiment to be looking good in there. I don't care if I ain't going to see the abs or not. I'm working out. I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like two pancakes per day, multi greens, whatever, everything. Mm -mm. Yeah. You know, the, the, the crazy thing is, since all this started, all I've been doing is like, I keep like lists on my phone. I have like lists of actors and actresses to play parts of the characters. So it's like all I think about. Like I'll, I'll see a movie. I'm like, ooh, they make a good so and so, you know. Yeah. So I so can, I can, you, can you talk about who's on your wish list to play who or not Alexa right Bliss? <laughs> she's, 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 not tall enough. she's not tall enough. Um, uh, yeah, let me let me pull up my list now because this is just a wish list. This is not confirming anything. So right. don't get crazy, people. This is just like my my cast list. So you know, pull it up now. You know what's crazy about that, Alex? Even if he did try to get Alexa Bliss, WWE probably say, no, we have this other person for you. Because that's, for what I heard, that's what they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they definitely do do that. But uh, Sasha Banks was able to get on The Mandalorian with her yeah. real name. So. Yeah. But that's probably connections because of Snoop Dogg. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. If, if Alexa Bliss was a lot taller, she would be the number one on my list. But mm. um, let's see. So... There's only one girl that would make a perfect Pandora, and uh, her name is Jessie Graff. She's actually been on American Ninja Warrior. She's like kind of like this this jacked like CrossFit kind of girl. She's one of the extras in the Wonder Woman movie. If you look her up, she's like perfect for her. She's tall, blonde. She's ripped. Uh, she would make a great Pandora. Um, Condor. Uh, I think Charlie Hunnam would be a perfect Condor. Because I also want, like, since, you know, he's British, I, I would want a British actor to play him. Like, I feel like they, they would get it down perfect. So, you know, I saw a movie with Charlie Hunnam uh, recently, and I was like, oh, you shave his beard. He'd make a great Condor. Um, uh, for Eclipse, I had uh, – they're, they're both on the small side. I, I would like them to be a little little more bigger than Jack, but uh, Anna uh, Diarmas, she's uh, in the new Bond she was also a Knives Out, and uh, did you like that Knives Out? I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Yeah, great. And uh, the girl uh, Alicia uh, Vikander, she played uh, Lara Croft in Tomb Raider. She's just not. She's got the right look in her face. Mm -hmm. Not like big enough. I need her a little more, a little more beefy. Um, I got a couple more for Pandora, but Jesse Graff would be like the most perfect. Uh, he would be really expensive, but I feel like. Brad Pitt would make a great Karak. Like, think of Brad Pitt and Fury and then okay. put a beard on him and he'd be fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously Tom Hardy would, or Henry Cavill or Michael Fassbender would be a great Condor, but I was also trying to keep in mind, like, you know, who are actors that are big but not, like, super Oscar big and expensive. So that's why I felt like Charlie Hunnam, great actor. He's not, like, you know, Michael Fassbender expensive, but you know, I feel like you would play the part perfect. So you, you, know. you know who looks you know who looks exactly like him, right? Who that? Travis Fimmel from uh Raised by Wolves and uh, Vikings. Oh, the Vikings guy. Interesting. Yeah. I've never seen but I've seen who the guy is, but I've never seen uh Vikings. And Wait, he he was, he he's Raised Australian. Gotcha. He, he's the um the dude who gets plastic surgery on his face. Gotcha. Before or after? Before. Okay. Before. Yeah. I'll have to check him out. Uh, hey, hey, real quick, Bobby. Uh, Art says, yo, I'll be your token Asian guy. <laughs> that does all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 